See how much greener the grass is under the trees. These are images from our farm in the late dry season. Our farm is in the wet dry tropics in northern Australia and we can often get six to eight months without much rain. Hi, I'm Dr Wendy Seabrook. Here's a close-up of the grass under the trees. See the difference in the open where the grass gets very little protection from the sun. This is one of the trees that we use. It's a native wattle, a legume tree. I often get asked, is the grass greener just because it is a legume tree? Well, we know that these trees act as fertilizer trees, but we know that this isn't the only reason. See how green the grass is under this fig tree. We get plenty of sunlight so we can use dense canopy trees in our species mix. The cattle remove the lower branches, allowing the sunlight to come in from the side. We are planting a lot of, Alb of Albizia lebic trees. It's another native legume tree that does well in our growing conditions, but it is especially valuable as cattle love the foliage. Albizia lebic can provide up to 2,500 kilograms per hectare per year edible material. We haven't needed to as yet, but this would provide a valuable resource during droughts, significantly reducing the costs of importing stock feed. Some farmers I talk to are concerned that trees suck a lot of moisture out of the ground. Research demonstrates, though, that the higher levels of water infiltration and storage in soil, due to the extra plant biomass and root exudates the trees provide, more than compensates, as I think the green grass under the trees demonstrates. Please remember that you won't maintain grass cover under trees using fixed or rotational grazing. As you know, cattle love to camp under trees. We move our cattle every day or every second day using a technique called holistic or mob grazing. Because we can see the obvious benefits, we're propagating trees and will strategically plant out the rest of our paddocks during the next wet season. We're obviously not the only farmers who are bringing back trees into our paddocks. But I produced the video because you can clearly see the benefits. In a Soils for Life report from Australia, grazers Shane and Sean Joyce have 16 years of data showing that the areas with natural vegetation of brigalow scrub, another nitrogen fixing tree, yield nearly 40% greater return than areas completely cleared of trees. And graziers in Africa, south of the Sahel, have planted and allowed trees to naturally generate, restoring their open woodland landscape over a huge area. Would trees help you drought-proof your paddocks and provide fodder when times get tough? Yeah.